Hello everyone, I'm glad that we meet again in the Alumni Vibes Up Close and Personal Edition 2023. With me, I am Muhammad Faris Fikrami Muhammad, a student from the Faculty of Creative Multimedia and I'm in my first year, second semester of Bachelor in Virtual Reality. Today, we have one honourable guest with us, the Centre for Alumni of Multimedia University, which is also one of our amazing Permata Dunia. So, to know more about who is our special guest of the day, do stay with me until the end of this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, my beloved viewers, stay tuned. Alright, so hello sir, I'm glad that we meet in this first episode where we'll be focusing on your studies experience and also your study life back then in MMU. So to start with, maybe you can share with us your name, your faculty you've graduated from, also your year of graduation. Assalamualaikum, Assalamualaikum Faris. Um, so my name is Iskandar. Uh, I graduated from MMU pada tahun 2004 from Faculty of IT. Alright, so now sir, maybe you can share with us your current position and also the company that you're working for. I'm currently uh, serving uh, Bank Islam uh, as the uh, Group Chief Human Resources Officer. Alright, now we move on to the next a more catchy part where you can share with us your experience of your study life back then. So anything that you think you want to share with us? MMU was, uh, was fun. Lah. Yeah? I had a lot of uh, positive memories. Uh, I think in MMU, the uh, experience uh, that I got mainly is uh, hostel life. Yeah? So I didn't um, go to a boarding school. So MMU was my first uh, life uh, away from home in, in hostel. So macam-macam lah pengalaman. Um, at, at hostel life, you know, you got to manage yourself. And in university of hostel, you have uh, this is where you have slightly more freedom, lah, yeah, uh, as compared to staying at home, ataupun uh, for those who have been in a, in a school based hostel. So, you know, um, you got to manage your time, you have to manage your uh, finances, kan? Um, and uh, typically uh, we try to arrange our timetable. Normally, kalau class pukul 8 tu will be the one yang kita try, try to avoid. Um, but you know, uh, it, it was uh, an, an interesting experience. Yeah? So, for example, um, you know, we had I have a, a group of friends yeah, that we normally go for class together, ataupun we go for our makan. Uh, typical menu dekat uh, MMU ni, uh, every day almost a standard menu is kita makan nasi goreng lah. Yeah? Uh, in MMU, so far, I've only found this one particular unique nasi goreng. Was in MMU Melaka. It's called nasi goreng German. I've never found this <laughs> anywhere else before. And uh, we had a daily routine lah. You know, pergi solat maghrib, lepas tu pergi makan together. And then, you know, a bit of uh, hanging out together. And, uh, and the day is filled up with uh, all our different uh, classes lah. Okay, so from what you've shared just now, Maybe you can share with us also your hostel life back then in MMU and also how did you actually manage to survive your hostel life? Yeah, so I remember when I first uh, started, I started in uh, Malacca campus. Yeah, that was in year 2000. Yeah, so I remember my roommate, Namada Niza from Ampang. Uh, and the, the guys who were in the rooms, yeah, so each uh, hostel room had uh, two, yeah, uh, two to a room. And uh, one of the things that was unique during that time, it was uh, uncommon to have laptop, yeah. So because it was during that time too considered very expensive to have laptop. But uh, the unique thing about MMU compared to other universities, uh, compared to friends that I've had in other universities, we were among the early ones where we can have our own computers, yeah, dalam dalam uh, dalam our hostel room. So kalau in that room tu ada dua orang, uh, so we have two computers lah kan. And it's not the computer that you have today. Zaman tu, the computer is a big desktop oh. with a very big uh, monitor. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, and so uh, we will be uh, on our computer because uh, at the hostel, we were fortunate, be it Malacca campus or even in the Cyberdaya campus, to have very strong um, uh, internet connection. Yeah, laju. Memang the internet was very fast, um, and there was also this culture where uh, people used to do file sharing. Yeah, they can set the punya PC as a server. Somehow they have all these uh, movies and music. Uh, so too that is the very uh, interesting culture uh, about life in hostel. Um, 
and uh, uh, then we hang around. <laughs> we hang around in each other's rooms, you know. And and uh, like I said, we go for our meals together at the cafeteria. All right, sir. So maybe from what you have uh, tell us just now, maybe you can also share how was the facilities of MMU back then, and how you actually can manage to utilize all of the facilities that was prepared back then in MMU. So I think MMU had fantastic uh, facilities. Satu, the hostel itself was very clean, very comfortable. Yeah. Uh, kedua, you know, um, the proximity of the hostel to, you know, tempat makan ataupun the, the surau, uh, also very convenient. The library was uh, amazing, you know, and during that time, you know, there were a lot of these uh, PC terminals. Yeah. Mungkin sekarang benda tu is uh, maybe nothing special. But during that time, we had all these uh, PC terminals where we can access uh, journals and documents, uh, research material. So the libraries were also very good. And especially in the Cyberjaya campus, you will see the uh, lecture halls uh, were very uh, comfortable, very nicely set up. And kita ada juga uh, macam-macam tempat makan lah, uh, within the campus. Uh, if I can remember fondly, uh, uh, in uh, FCM uh, block, there used to be one cafe. Dekat sebelah library pun, there used to be a Tao Cafe. Yeah. So for those in my era too, you will know lah uh, all these different uh, tempat makan. So, lengkap lah, you know, including ATM machine facility uh, for us to do sports. Kan? Uh, uh, memang lengkap lah. For, for, very comfortable for you. Okay, so maybe from what you have shared just now, I can conclude that the study life back then and now is very different. So maybe you can share with us your everyday activities, what you do after your class time, maybe any lepak hub that you want to share with us that you think it was there back then but now it's no more here. Actually, uh, back then, uh, Cyberjaya was uh, quite empty. Yeah, uh, the cut in around here. Um, the, the closest thing we had to a mall was this thing called Street Mall. Street Mall ni was a very small uh, mall. Um, with one or two kedai makan and you know a couple of kedai very very simple so normally after class uh, typical activity is you go back to your hostel and you tidur lah kan? you have a nap uh, and then those yang ada extracurricular activities maybe just before maybe around six o'clock too you will uh, do some activity um, then normally after maghrib too is when we go and find our makan lah so kalau dah boring makan uh, nasi goreng dekat uh, cafeteria HB1 atau HB2 uh, then we find somebody yang ada kawan um, yang ada kereta and we drive so during that time pun it's not many places that we can drive to so uh, a very common uh, tempat makan is this place in uh, Dengkil yeah? so dulu there used to be a very dark road that goes to Dengkil zaman tu jalan ke Dengkil tu is not like now lah now you have you know big, nice, nice, comfortable road. Zaman tu memang jalan gelap, tak ada lampu. Jalan berwinding road. Ia akan sampai dekat satu kedai ni, nama dia Malis Corner. So, itulah kira uh, our option lah. Uh, besides going to Putrajaya or wherever, uh, that used to be our makan place lah. Then, sometimes weekend, kalau tak balik tu, then we, apa ni, uh, we gather some friends uh, in a car, then we may head to, you know, places like KL and that kind of thing lah. And, yeah. Okay. So now, maybe you can share with us your extracurricular activities. Maybe like you join any event committee, you join any clubs and societies. Maybe you have any position back then during your study life in MMU. Uh, to be frank, Faris, I wasn't the most active when it came to sports. I did join the Taekwondo uh, activity for a while. But I think the main one that I started to get involved in towards the end was the uh, IT society. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so in that, in my final year, I was the uh, president of the IT society. Yeah. All right. Moving on, I think I should ask you. Maybe you can share with us how is it related of your studies background and also from what you are working now with all the experience you've had. Maybe you want to share in which aspect that actually helps you a lot in being you as for today. Okay. Uh, maybe this memory is both uh, sweet and bad at the same time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it's quite interesting. You know, uh, as students ni kadang-kadang we don't really um, manage our time that well. Lah, uh -huh. You know, um, and we have all these assignments and projects that we need to deal with. So when it comes to the submission day for projects or assignments ni, typically kita, we will not sleep lah. 
especially that final if you need to submit it in the morning the night before to confirm tak tidur lah so all of us will be awake um, and during that time you know uh, the printer facility that we have to may not be so you know smooth like how we have today so dah lah uh, apa ni rushing nak siapkan the assignment lepas tu rushing nak print nak hantar binding lepas tu before nak print tiba-tiba file korak pula kena redo balik you know uh, so all this uh, very uh, during that time tu mungkin rasa agak stress uh, in the situation but when we think back when we think back about it it, uh, it was fun it was funny uh, and it brought back a lot of uh, nice memories all right so my beloved viewers ladies and gentlemen that's it for our first episode of alumni vibes up close and personal with mr iskandar so the next episode Please stay tuned with me to focus more on his work life and also maybe he can share his work profile as well. So that's it for this episode. Stay tuned and have a good day.